We're on a VFR uh, where we're in the bar, don't even have a flight plan, which when it's nice and clear, sometimes I just want to go and not have to rattle with anything, but we're ready. If you look over here, we're ready to head into an MOA. And what you can do is uh, click on that. Wood guy. The details. And you see right here, it says Memphis Center, uh, 126.1 for the frequency. Now, VFR, even if it's hot, you can go into an MOA. Maybe not the best idea. Where we're only kind of catching the edge. Of, uh, but we, we can call up 126.1, get a hold of Memphis Center. And before we go into it, just to see if it's hot or not, and if it's cold, we're just going through it. If it's hot, it's not that much of a deep to go around it. Right. So that's what we're getting ready to do right now, because uh, it's just a few miles ahead of us here. And the center, Skyline, November 80, Pump Echo. Skyline 80, Pump Echo, go ahead. Yeah, we're just checking to see if the Hog Bravo uh, MOA is hot or not. Skyline 80, Pump Echo, negative. I'm telling them cold this morning. I appreciate your help, Zero Pump Echo. Problem. With the MOA being cold, it was no problem going on through, but as you see, it wasn't that much of a detour if it was hot for us just to kind of detour around it. After successfully passing through the Hog B MOA, it was not that long as we were going along our route that we noticed another MOA, the Annie High MOA, and so we looked up again on ForeFlight for the appropriate uh, frequency to check with center to see if that MOA was hot or cold so we can determine what our course of action would be for this one. So again, on ForeFlight, do a long press at the appropriate MOA location and then hit the, for the details for the any low or the any high in this case it was the any high and then we get Fort Worth Center's frequency number from there Fort Worth Center Skyline November 80 Papa Echo request November 80 Papa Echo uh, affirm yeah we're just checking to see if the uh, any high MOA is hot or not it is not it is cold I appreciate your help, Zero Pop Echo. And after passing through the AN High MOA, the rest of the flight was relatively uneventful. So I hope this kind of helped you discover a quick and simple, easy way to figure out how to determine if a MOA is hot or cold.